right, we're going to start on page 10. Pages 10 and 11 should be side by side. If your 10 and 11 are not side by side, turn over another page and label them 10 and 11 because I want these two pages side by side. Okay, your title is Matter. Today's date is September the 1st. So the first thing I want you to think back to is what is the definition of matter? Um, this is one that you've probably known since fifth grade. We said matter can come in three uh, forms, solid, liquid, or gas. But the definition is anything that has mass and takes up space. So when we talk about matter, it has mass, um, can be measured. Mass is a measurable amount usually in grams, right? And takes up space. There's a math word for taking up space, and we call that volume. Um, so if it has mass and volume, that's another way you might hear the definition of matter. Now, atoms are the building block of matter. So remember the periodic table, uh, there were elements on the periodic table. Atoms are the building blocks of matter. Now that sounds really familiar to cells are the building blocks of living matter. Okay, so there's matter that is living and there's matter that is not living. Uh, if we have a group of atoms that are bonded together, we call that a molecule. So molecules uh, come in more or less two types. You can have elemental molecules or compound molecules. So elemental molecules are just the same atom, the same element of that atom uh, bonded together. So two oxygens, like what we breathe, is O2. That's the same element, O. It's the only capital letter there. So one kind of atom, but multiple ones, bonded together. Or you can have a compound molecule, which is more than one element uh, bonded together here, H2O, water, two atoms of hydrogen, one atom of oxygen bonded together. That's called a compound. Now, it takes molecules to make up cells. Cells are made of many different molecules, um, and cells are living. Atoms are not. Okay, so atoms, we could say, are abiotic individually, um, and many molecules are abiotic, okay? But cells are the basic unit of life, and they are definitely biotic, living, or once were living. Matter could be divided into two groups. We could say there's abiotic matter, non-living, never was living, not made of cells, and there's biotic matter, living, made of cells. Abiotic things, examples that are matter would be like water, rocks, sand. Uh, energy, like sunlight, is not even matter. It doesn't have mass or take up space. So that would be a non-matter example of abiotic. Biotic can be divided into prokaryotic and eukaryotic. So there are three domains. Two of them are prokaryotic, archaea and bacteria. One of them is eukaryotic, eukarya. So then we get down to our six kingdoms, archaeobacteria, eubacteria, plantae, animal, uh, animalia, fungi, and protista. Uh, 